In this problem, we're told police investigators examining the scene of an accident involving two cars measure a 72 meter long skid marks of one of the cars, which nearly came to a stop before colliding. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the rubber and the pavement is about 0.8. Estimate the initial speed of that car assuming a level road. So the first thing that we want to do whenever we do a problem like this is we want to draw a free body diagram of our object. So in this case, we have this car, right? So here's our car and we know it's going to be on this road. So here's the car on the road. What forces are acting on this car? So we know we're going to have a weight force going straight down, right? Which is going to be equal to m times g, right? So we have this weight force going down m times g. And since it's touching this road, we have another force going up, which is going to be the normal force, right? So anything touching an object perpendicular to it is going to have a force f sub n. So that's that force. And then notice how we have, um, there's going to be friction in this problem. So whenever you think of friction, if you think it's traveling in this direction, you want to label the friction force, right? I'm going to call it F sub F going in the opposite direction, right? Because imagine like some force is slowing it down, right? That's what friction does. It slows you down when you try and move. So it's going to be going in this direction. So now what we want to do is write down what we're given. So given, what are we told? So first off, we know mu sub K. They tell us this mu sub K or our coefficient of kinetic friction is going to be 0 0.8. So 0 0.8. Uh, we know that uh, the final velocity of the car, since it's colliding, right, the final velocity of the car is going to be zero, right? Because when it collides, it's going to come to a stop. And so we set it to zero because when something is stopped, it's not moving, right? And so what don't we know? We don't know the acceleration. And we don't know uh, V sub zero, right? They're asking us for V sub zero. We don't know that. We're trying to find that, right? The initial speed and then acceleration, we don't know. We do know the distance it's going to travel, though, which is 72 meters. So we know delta x, right? The change in our distance, 72 meters. We know that. And so that's going to be our given. So now the next thing that you want to do is, for these problems, you want to find the sum of the forces in the x and y direction. So sum of the forces in the y, sum of the forces in the x. So in the y direction, it's going to be equal to 0. And the reason that is is because you're not moving at all in the y direction. And so it equals ma, right? But a is going to be zero because you're not moving in that direction. So it's going to be equal to zero. And so in the x direction, though, it's going to be equal to ma, right? Because we're going to have some acceleration, uh, right? So that's going to be that. And so keep in mind, it's going to be negative, right? Because we're going to be slowing down. Uh, but so it's going to be equal to ma. So we want to write ma and zero equals. And then we want to write the sum of the forces in each direction. So in the y direction, what do we have for forces? We have F sub n and mg. If it's going upwards, you want to keep it positive. If it's going down, it's going to be negative. So F sub n is going upwards, so we leave it positive. And then minus mg, since it's negative, it's going down. And so we're just going to rewrite this as F of n equals mg. So that's going to be that. Now let's do this one. So in the x direction, we only have the force of friction. And since it's going to the left, that means it's negative. If it, if it was going to the right, it would be positive. So it's going to be equal to minus F sub f. So if we want to just get rid of the negative, F sub F equals MA. And so the whole goal with this uh, problem is we're going to be solving this equation. Force of friction is equal to mu sub K times F sub N. So this is the formula you use. And when we solve this, it's going to allow us to solve for the acceleration. And then we're going to be able to solve for V sub zero, which is the initial velocity uh, is what they're asking for. So what we're going to do is substitute what we just solved for. We solve for F sub F. We solve for the normal force. And we just got to plug it in. So mg, or no, f sub f is ma. It's going to be minus ma. I wrote ma here. I forgot when I made this positive, this is actually negative. So f sub f equals minus ma. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but keep in mind, it's minus ma. So we plug it in for f sub f minus ma equals mu sub k, which is 0.8. We know that. Times f sub n, which is mg. So mg. And so what you should notice is the masses will cancel. So minus ma equals 0.8 times g. And so I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1 to get rid of the minus on this side because we're just trying to get acceleration, not negative acceleration. So minus 0.8 times g. And so we know g is just going to be the force of gravity, or just gravity, right? So 9.8, that's uh, gravity. So acceleration is going to be equal to minus 0.8 times uh minus 0.8 times 9.8, which is minus 7.84. And so keep in mind the units, it's meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration. I'm going to write it right here because we know it now. So minus 7.84 meters per second squared. 
So we're trying to find the initial velocity, and now we can, right, using kinematics, because we have v, we have a, and we have delta x. So the equation you're going to use is v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x. And so hopefully by now you're pretty good at kinematics and you can solve these, but essentially we just got to plug in all our variables. So we know v is 0, so 0 squared is just 0, which equals v sub 0 squared, right, that's what we're solving for. So we just leave it in its variable form, plus 2 times a, which is minus 7.84, times delta x, which is 72. So I'm going to move this to the other side, right, because we're trying to solve for it. So get it by itself. So minus v sub 0 squared is equal to 2 times minus 7.84 times 72. And so I'm going to multiply this minus, right, so I'm going to minus this. So v sub 0 squared is going to be equal to... And I'm also going to get rid of the square, right? So I'm going to square root both sides to get rid of it. So it's going to be equal to the square root. And then we did the minus sign first. So it's really minus times 2 times minus 7.84 times 72, right? And so you should notice the minus signs are going to make it positive so we can actually take the square root. So if you go ahead and do that, uh, the square root of minus and then all this, right? Uh, you're going to get it equals to about... 33.6 or equals 33.6 and so keep in mind the units uh, for this right it's going to be meters per second so uh, the initial speed is going to be equal to 33.6 meters per second so this right here is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful